Fall is officially here on the campus of Bob Jones University. While the weather has not quite gotten cold yet, students and families are still enjoying some of our favorite fall activities. One of these is pumpkin carving. Let's head over to Katie to see where the history of pumpkin carving got its start. Pumpkin carving is an activity that many people enjoy doing during the fall season and is a project that populates many Halloween and harvest parties. Carved pumpkins take on all different shapes and forms, from the typical face of a toothless jack-o'-lantern to the ornate carving of an artist. But why has carving out shapes and fruit become such a tradition, and where did the jack-o'-lantern originate? Well, Halloween is actually an interesting holiday for the fact that it's a combination of a lot of pagan tradition with Christian holiday traditions. And so the jack-o'-lantern is product of that as it started out in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, when they would carve rutabagas or turnips to ward away evil spirits. Now the jack-o'-lantern actually came about around this, the legend of a guy named Stingy Jack and how he had uh, thwarted death in order to become immortal. In order to honor him, they would carve the jack-o'-lanterns and they named them after him. And so they were designed to initially to ward away evil spirits, and then the, when the colonies were founded, people realized that pumpkins were a lot easier to carve than rutabagas or turnips, and so they started carving pumpkins in America. So now you know. The jack-o'-lantern is originally from Ireland and wasn't carved out of pumpkin, but it still makes for a really fun pastime and a creative fall activity. I know pumpkin carving is definitely something I love to do in the fall. The perfect setting includes a cup of hot cider and the leaves changing colors. The question is, why do the leaves change color? Hannah Zimmer has the answer. One of the things people look forward to most in the fall is the changing of the leaves. This week, we talked to people in the den to find out why. Why do you think leaves change colors in the fall? Because it's cold. I have no idea because in Africa, they don't change color, they just fall off the tree. I think what happens is they change type of chlorophyll type thingy called something else into orange that is less productive. I would say it's because of the cold temperatures and it changes the chlorophyll, which then changes the pigment of the color of the leaf. Well, I don't really know. I'm a Spanish major, but maybe they got embarrassed and blushed. We talked to Dr. A of the science faculty to find out why leaves really change in the fall. Actually, uh, when a leaf starts getting yellow, orange, purple, red, it's actually very active. It's uh, in the process of really repurposing the resources that have been used to prepare chlorophyll for other, for other things, for other functions. So nothing gets wasted. And uh, what you see is that as chlorophyll gets chopped, all these uh, units that come from the degradation of chlorophyll uh, get relocated from the leaf itself toward the stem. And then the leaf drops. So, but before the leaf drops, the plant has already stored the good things that the leaf used to have during the active season. The upstate should see the leaves changing mid-October. So if you want to see the foliage, you should do it then. For WBJU, I'm Hannah Zimmer. Thank you for joining us on the fall edition of WBJU. Check out the WBJU Facebook page for past and upcoming shows. We'll see you next week.